All right, um, we've learned quite a bit about nouns so far. That's what we've been studying. We've been studying how to pluralize nouns. Um, we've talked about irregular plurals and regular plurals and how to pronounce the nouns. And we've talked about, um, well, now we're gonna talk about something else. We're gonna talk about possessive nouns. How to use a possessive noun and how to, how to pluralize, use a possessive noun with plurals, all right? So possessive means ownership. If you talk about possessive, it means ownership. And we're just gonna read through some of this. It says virtually all languages have some way of indicating that a noun is the owner or possessor of another noun. For example, in the phrase John's book, John is said to own or possess the book. And it's shown by this little apostrophe, okay? Or a possession. Um, of course, the possessive forms of nouns can signal many things besides ownership. Often we use the possessive form with inanimate nouns to indicate, which means that things that are not human or animals, to indicate that something is a part of something else or a component of something else, okay? So the computer screen, obviously a computer cannot own anything. So obviously that's silly. But so we use the possessive here to say that the screen is part of the computer. So that's what possession is. Um, when we use it with nouns in English. It's either ownership, if it's an animal or a person that the noun is referring to, or it means a part of, a part of something, all right? So we're gonna go through here and find out how to properly uh, use possessives and to show possessives, okay? It says here are the possessive forms Form tell us uh, here the possessive form tells us that the screen is a component or a part of the computer. Okay, so we're going to talk about a couple of things here, and you can read this little thing about how possessions came came along because they didn't always used to be used in English. This is kind of an interesting read, um, but to make English more clear, they decided to use and to be able to show possessive with an apostrophe, okay? So um, I'm gonna go through this really quickly. If we have friend, and we have the word friends, all right? One, it, without the possession there, we wouldn't know if it was plural or possessive. So we don't know how many friends. So when we use the possessive apostrophe, you know, and we might rehash this in a second, but when we use the possessive apostrophe with a singular, one friend, if we want to say that one friend owns something or has a jacket or whatever, my friend's jacket, we would put the apostrophe and we put an S. This tells us that this is not plural, it simply owns something, okay? It's, it's, it has something in this possession, all right? So it's one friend's jacket. The friend's jacket, let's just say, jacket. All right, now what happens if we have many friends? Um, then you would, if you want to show that your friends, um, you know, have, have dogs or whatever, they own the dogs, or your friends own something or have something, and they all own it, you would put the apostrophe there, after friends. That means that this is pluralized, but your friends own the pool, maybe. Maybe you have friends that own a pool, your friend's pool, all right? Um, this would signal uh, your, oops, I'm sorry. You know, my friend's pool. That would uh, mean that, uh, that would mean that the pool, you have many friends that own that pool. If up here I put uh, my friend's pool, this would mean that you were talking about one. This pool belongs to one of your friends. So maybe this is a house where several brothers live together or sisters and, and they're a family and they're all your friends and they own a pool. This would mean that uh, you only have one friend in that house and they own a pool, okay? So that's just uh, an idea. We're gonna go through here and, and figure out how, how to use these a little bit more detail, okay? So let's just go through here, be patient, pull up uh, a, you know, a chair and get the popcorn out and be ready for a little video. All right, so, um, uh, 
so as I said before, we've already looked at this. If we were looking at the plural, it would be spelled friends. If we're looking at a singular possessive, means a single friend owns something. It would be friend, friends. You say it the same, but you have the apostrophe there to show it's only one friend. And then if you have the plural, possessive, means you have several friends that own something. And we just went over this. But the interesting thing to, to look at this is that they sound the same. Friends, friends, and friends. So you have to really look at the spelling and figure out the meaning of the word, okay? One is plural, without anything. One friend owns something here because the apostrophe is after the word friend. And then here, several friends own something. But you say them all the same, all right? So that is actually pretty easy. So let's go ahead and go on uh, to something else. Let's see what they have here. Okay, some plurals, as we've talked about before, are, are uh, a little bit different. Um, so when we had the plural of friend, friends, and then we had one friend, possessive, and then we have the plural possessive, Okay, we added the apostrophe in different things because the S is what made this plural, so we add the apostrophe after the plural. Okay, if we have irregular wor verbs like men, obviously um, that's, the, that's already um, plural, right? The vowel is what makes it plural. So in this case, we would put the S apostrophe S. Now you might think, wait a minute, if this is plural, why don't we put the apostrophe after the S? Well, it's because the S here is not what is making it plural. The vowel is making it plural because the singular is man. So when we make this plural, we um, change it into men, and we want to, and we want to make it, uh, we can say the man's pants, okay, or the man's car, or we could say the men's room, restroom. Okay, but the S is not what is making this plural. So obviously we're going to add the apostrophe before that because the E is what makes it plural. Do you, do you understand up here, obviously, you can see in friends, we added the a possessive after the S because the S is what makes it plural. Here we're actually adding the apostrophe after the plural too, but the E is what makes it plural, not the S. So I don't want you to be confused. Uh, the irregular verbs... Um, you know, that, that's just how you do it. Let, let me give you an, a, a non-example so you can see how weird that would be. So if we have men's and you were to add the apostrophe there, well, that doesn't make sense because men is plural. Men is already plural. Uh, men's, what are we making a plural twice? You can't make a plural twice. That's silly. So there's no such thing as men's because this is what makes a plural at the S. So you'd have to add the apostrophe, um, the men's room, as you often hear, before the S. All right? All right. So hopefully that clarifies how to use an apostrophe with irregular um, nouns, irregular plural nouns. Let's go ahead and uh, move on and see uh, what the next thing is. So you can finish reading that if you want. And there's not really anything uh, new there, so we're not going to do that. Oh, this is kind of interesting. I guess there is something new here that we need to know. Um, here is interesting. If you have, for example, with the, with the Fs, uh, if you're talking about a single, the wolf's den, um, that den belongs to one wolf. When we change that into wolves, remember when we had to change the V, um, it's the V-E-S that actually, it's the S that makes it plural still, but we had to change, unlike men, right? The E is what made men plural. Uh, the, you just change the spelling of the F to a V, but it's still the S that makes it plural. So if that den belongs to many uh, wolves, you would say the wolf's den 
and you pluralize it after the s, okay? So it's really the function of the s at the end. If the s is what makes the word plural, and it's, then that's how you would um, punctuate that. So how do, you punctuate, how do you punctuate this? Let's take the singular spy, all right? Um, the spies, tools, all right? The tools belong to one spy because spy is one. And then you would have spies. Okay, the S is, makes it plural even though we change the spelling. But then you could say uh, the spies uh, boss, maybe. All right, the spies boss. Maybe this boss has many spies that he's in charge of. Then you put the possessive after, as always, after the S that makes that plural even though there's a spelling change. The I does not make a plural, it's the S. Uh, but you change the spelling because of the Y, okay? So that's uh, pretty pretty easy and self-explanatory, all right? So remember your spelling rules are still there. So when we come down to here, it says fill in the chart with all of the forms for each noun, all right? So we want the singular possessive, we want the plural only, and we want the plural possessive. So the first one is dog. So let's singular possessive is dogs, and we're going to put the apostrophe before that, okay? And I'm going to get rid of these up here so you, we, they don't get in the way. All right, the plural only, of course, we say them all the same, dogs. And then the plural possessive, if several dogs own something, dogs plural possessive all right so you can see that the meaning changes depending on where that apostrophe is all right let's do uh, one more lady singular singular uh, possessive would be ladies okay okay because we don't change that we're not pluralizing it we want one lady to own something so we would keep the singular ladies plural we would change it because we're pluralizing it ladies but if if the, the ladies room, for example, when we talk about the bathroom, the ladies room belongs to many ladies, so we pluralize it after the S, okay? So just go ahead and go through this, these things, and pay attention to your, to your irregular plurals, and um, write the singular possessive, the plural only, and the, and the plural possessive, just like the example. Um, as always, if you have questions, come before school, and I will help you out or come before class and I will help you out. Um, watch the video again if you need to or read the selection. And good luck and I will see you next video.